Hello, it's Venezuela, Carlos, and we're going to play a little bit of Bruce Springsteen Ramrod while we talk. Um, it's one of my favorite songs. Um, and as you know, I always have to screw with the, the uh, volume. There you go. What I wanted to talk today about was a patina of a pipe. Um, when you go and you make a selection on your pipe, whether you choose a, uh, a, 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 a rough pipe, you know, a rusticated like that style, okay, or sandblasted like that. Yeah, that sandblasted. You know, see the difference in there? Or you choose smooth. Um, but the but the black one, there's not a lot of difference. It's gonna, it's not going to change color on you as, as the patina goes. Um, it's going to stay the same color. Um, but your other pipes are going to change. As you smoke them, the, the oils and tars of the tobacco are going to be absorbed and change the color. Uh, this pipe is relatively new, and they did a Yavo on it, and you can so you can't really tell at this point. But those light spots will eventually darken up, and the pipe will darken up itself more, which is nice. Now, I'm smoking a John Hines pipe. Then I'm going to use a reference point because it does have it's still relatively new, and you'll see where it's the patina has changed dramatically <clears throat> from the original uh, pipe, which is you know something to take into consideration if you say, oh, I like that blonde pipe. It's not going to stay blonde forever. But that's what I like about the pipe. I mean, the patina changes. Um, as you see here, you know, you get that pipe close to you here. You see the rings. See how it gets darker there? Dark, 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 dark. But see, right in here, that's the color the pipe used to be. Right in there. Because, of course, the tars and oils have not got all the way down the shank to change the color it will eventually but at this point it has not and so the pipe as you see has darkened up considerably as I hold it like that you can see it better see that but I love the way it looks I love that darkness I have another pipe an all over Lonnie um, it's a large billiard same thing but it's colored see how the the wood has changed and you smoke it. I've had this a long time, so I've smoked it quite a bit. I just got done smoking it a little while ago. Um, but you see how, depending on the wood and how thick it is, the absorption of the tars and oils will be a little bit different and give the grain pattern a different look. And you notice right in here, it's a little bit lighter than it is right around the corner. Where it's darker. So then it goes down the shank that way. Same way. But, but that really has, has a nice look to it. And that's the patina. And some people, and there was a, a post on, on, a, on one of the uh, Facebook clubs um, about oils and tars. I mean, or oil, I should say, on your pipe. I will take my nose oil, when I say nose oil, just under, underneath my face and just rub it and it will get all shiny and it just adds a little bit of a sheen to it and uh, I know many famous people that have done this and th that's why I learned it actually in the oil you're going to just sit there and, and look at it and and say, wow, look at that. And change it. Or you can take it against your cheek and rub it. 
and, and see how it comes out. Look at the difference between that and that. It's huge. Then you can just take a little cloth, use my my Harley Davidson V Rod sweatshirt, and just shine it up and buff it up. See? You get yourself a nice shiny pipe, and you still see the difference. Um, but that's really it. That's what I wanted to talk about. Was was that? Um, obviously, it will happen faster. If you smoke a tobacco that has more tar or, or nicotine or oils in it, um, Latakia would come to mind um, because there's more to be absorbed there. Um, let's see what we can find here. How about uh, Sherry Darling? Um, Bruce Springsteen again. Um, but that's what does it by the way this John Hines pipe smoke fantastic and as the colors it's just it's just more beautiful it's just it's just like a piece of furniture it is it, it's just gorgeous and it smokes well the colored well and that's what it's all about um, again you don't have to do the nose oil thing or the oil from your face I mean you don't have to do that I'm just showing you a little trick that people have done over the years, but it's certainly not something you have to do every day, um, even ever. I just do it, um, along, and I know other people that do it as well. But I hope you're all enjoying the videos. I know I am. Um, I'm enjoying talking to y'all, and wish I had, like I said, someone to interact with, and. Uh, because I, I actually have a very quick-witted personality, but I have nobody to quick-wit with. So, um, but I enjoy talking to y'all. I appreciate the subs. I appreciate you viewing me um, and keep subbing me. Yeah, questions, anything like that. Um, that's what I'm here for recommendations anything like that I'll, I'll, I'll be glad to try to do them if I can or if I, if I think I can do it where it makes sense and everyone uh, takes an interest in it and it looks right um, we may we may do some on some tobacco cuts or something I'll, I'll be getting into some things where I'll have some different cuts and I can maybe lay them out there and show you what I'm, people are talking about when it says a flake or sliced or whatever it might be um but anyways for today that's the end of the video so Venezuela Carlos is going to be signing off here and I appreciate it appreciate you watching and I am out of here rock and roll let's go